This is your colored pencil practice sheet. Here you're going to practice using the colored pencils to go from light to dark and to blend different colors. So um, every table should have a container of colored pencils to share. Um, for the first one, uh, we're going to practice shading with one color and going from light to dark. Now the instructions up here say use small circular movements instead of coloring back and forth. Um, and that's going to be really key to getting your colors to blend nicely. Um, it does not totally matter what color you are picking for the shading with one color. Um, I would probably not do yellow because it's very light and it's hard to get the dark values. Um, but otherwise you can pretty much use any other colored pencil. Um, and as I said, small circular motions rather than back and forth. Also, don't hold your your pencil like you would a regular pencil. Um, you don't want to be drawing with this part of your colored pencil. Instead, you wanna be drawing more with the side where it's this flatter area. Um, so sometimes it just means holding your pencil further away. That's how I hold it. Some people will hold it on top, which is a different way um, to get used to holding it. Um, but it really is figuring out what works best for you. I've seen people hold it like this. Um, you kind of figure out your, gr your grip. So for light, it is just what it sounds like. Super, super light pressure. And these overlapping circles, small overlapping circles barely touching the page. And then each box as you go should get progressively darker so that the last one is very dark with full pressure. And I'm actually gonna do that one just to see the difference right away. I'm gonna do that now. Now for the dark, that's when sometimes I hold it closer so I have more kind of leverage on the pencil, but still these overlapping circles. And sometimes you have to do two layers to get it really dark. Now you can see this huge difference there and each one should get gradually um, lighter to dark. Now looking at this, this one is not too far away from that, it's too close to that, so I'll just go a little bit heavier. You want it to be nice and gradual. The next thing you're gonna do is practice blending from one color to another. Now for this, you're gonna to wanna to look at the color wheel because you do not wanna do opposites on the color wheel next to each other, they will not blend. Instead, you wanna find colors that are near each other on the color wheel. Um, those are called analogous colors, two colors next to each other on the color wheel. Um, so um, I'm going to pick Let's see, maybe I'll pick blue and purple and I'll do a different blue than I did on top. Okay, so um, the idea is the same. You wanna think about this medium kind of pressure. Um, and then as you get towards the middle, get lighter. And then the opposite, medium pressure, and then lighter. And you're gonna overlap them. Again, using these small overlapping circles. Okay, so I basically went from maybe around here to the light. And then I'm gonna do the same thing in the opposite direction with this one. So I overlap. don't want to see any like stripes in there um, and once was not quite enough because now it's a little still a little bit white so now I'm gonna go back and just a little bit more pressure bring the blue a little bit more in there and lighten it up 
Okay, I don't want to ever bring the blue all the way to, to the edge. I'm going to do the same thing in this direction. Um, and you can kind of go back and forth. It's a nice, gradual transition. Um, here, it's just layering colors together so you don't have to blend from one to another. Um, as it says here, um, alternate colors as the base in, uh, in these. So we're going to alternate the colors. Um, analogous colors, as I said before, is, are colors next to each other on the color wheel. So the example given here um, on the paper, blue and green. Um, so on one side you put the blue first, and the other side you put the green first. Um, I will show you what that looks like, but you can pick other colors besides blue and green. Um, but just because that's what I gave as the example, I will show you how to do that. Um, so on this side, I'm going to put um, blue first. I want this to be like a, a medium pressure. And then you're going to put green as a layer on top of that. And then you're going to layer the original color back on. And you want the whole box to look pretty consistent at the same color. Um, and then the other one, same two colors, but you're going to switch up the order because that will affect how the final version looks. So for this one, I'm going to put the green down first. So this is the prime, more, uh, more um, stronger color. And then blue. Because I put the green down, the blue is not as strong. And blend again with the green. You can see how using the same two colors, to which color you do first, will change the way they look a little bit. This is the same thing, but instead with two primary colors. Primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. So I'll show you with yellow and red. yellow first and then you go back with the yellow now if you do red first it'll look very different Same two colors, they look very different depending on which one you put down first. 